What's going on in the real estate market right now? Well, it's just the first week in October. So I don't have a full report on what happened in the third quarter of 2022, but I can tell you what's happened in the last few weeks. So if you stay tuned, you'll know exactly what's happening. In case you didn't know, my team and I study the market every single Monday morning. We look at what's happening in the market at 9.30 in the morning every single Monday. So we have a nice baseline and comparing week by week, we can see the changes and the ebbs and the flows. Now we only look at three jurisdictions, which is where most of our real estate business is. It's in the County of Stafford, the County of Spotsylvania, and the City of Fredericksburg. So these numbers in this report does not include Caroline County, Orange County, Westmoreland County, King George County, uh, but my, my quarterly update will include that. But our weekly updates just cover those three jurisdictions because that's basically where the majority of our business is. So first off, I want to say that inventory. So inventory is the number of homes that are actually out on the market available to sell. Inventory has been decreasing. It has been decreasing steadily to the point where this past week, so the last week in September, there were only 482 properties on the market in the area. Now, the last time we saw 482 houses on the market was back in the winter, okay? So we really have low inventory. But what's been dropping faster than the inventory is the number of buyers. However, there are still a ton of buyers out there looking for houses. So we usually see about 100 houses coming on the market every single week and between like 97 and 120 going under contract. Well, this last week, last week of September, we've seen a big change. And that is there are fewer houses coming on the market. <laughs> so inventory is going to continue to go down and a smaller percentage are going under contract in the week, but it is still well above normal market levels. So we are still seeing a seller's market out there. There are still fewer houses than buyers out looking. So in a given week, over 80% of all the houses that were to come on the market in that week per se, from a number perspective, 80% are gonna be going under contract that week. Normal is 75. Now, one thing we also have noticed, and this is significant, it absolutely is taking longer to sell. Up until this last week, the average amount of time a home is on the market before it goes under contract has consistently been between 14 and 16 days. This last week, the number was 24. So it is taking longer for a home to sell. And the ones that are selling are selling between the third and the fourth week of being on the market. To put this into perspective, average time on market in the month of September of 2019 was 52 days. So it's still taking less than half the amount of time as it did in the last normal real estate year. So it's still really good. So when I say it's a seller's market, it really is still a seller's market. Selling in less than 30 days is very, very good. The other thing I'm noticing is the amount of time the active homes have been on the market. So on average of those 482 homes that are still on the market right now, they've been on the market for over 30 days. But that's the average over 30 days. There's gonna be some that have been on the market for 90 and some that have only been on the market for two, but the average years ago, remember was 52. So it's still pretty good out there, but it is taking longer than a month to sell a home. And I see it increasing as we go into the winter months and it may start to decrease as we get into the spring of this next year. Another thing I'm seeing out there is definitely a pullback in buyers and we're operating on a sprint recover type of market. In other words, the weeks when the interest rates are lower 
there is a lot of activity. Things are happening fast. Things are busy. You have a lot of showings on your home. Lots of activity is happening. And then the weeks, like this last week, when interest rates go up, nothing is happening. So we're either sprinting or we're sitting back and forth and back and forth. And that's very hard for a real estate agent to deal with because we're used to being consistent. We're used to steady. And when you look at it overall, it is steady, but we haven't had this sprint rest, sprint rest cycle in a very long time. So if you talk to an agent who really isn't in tune with the market, they may tell you the market is dead because that is what their personal experience was that last week. But looking at the numbers, that is not the case. But just understand the pace of the market is going to be sprint and rest and sprint and rest. And a good real estate agent will be able to tell you, guys, the interest rates went up half a percent this last week. I really don't think we're going to have a lot of activity this weekend. Uh, so stay the course. We're going to do just fine. Now, to go along with the interest rate issue, one thing I've been seeing, which is very good for buyers, is buyers are now able to negotiate a closing cost credit from the seller at the closing. So what does that mean? So from a seller perspective, let's say you're selling your house for $400,000 and a buyer asks for 10,000 in closing cost credit. For the seller, that means your net proceeds are reduced by $10,000. So it's kind of like you're selling the house for 390,000. For the buyer, you can use that 10,000 closing cost credit for anything legal uh, in your closing costs. So it can help offset your cash outlay. And what a lot of folks are using the closing cost credit to do right now is they are buying down their interest rate. And I even have seen some sellers offering that opportunity that the seller will pay points, closing costs, for the potential buyer. So the potential buyer's interest rate is reduced. That's a great way to market your home. And a great thing for a buyer is that means less cash out of your pocket, which is a good thing. And then you can refinance your home when the rates get back to a more normal level. And normal is not two and normal is not three. So maybe when it gets kind of in the fours, uh, you can refinance your home and um, you're gonna have some closing costs associated with that. So the nice thing with the closing cost credit up front from the seller is you get to save some cash and use it to invest and save uh, for a refinance in the future. So that's a very helpful thing. The other thing I'm seeing out there, and I just did one um, just a few weeks ago, is those of you who are veterans, you have an amazing opportunity. You can assume a mortgage on a home that you are purchasing at that seller's interest rate. So I currently have a home for sale in Stafford and the seller bought the house in 2020. So only owned the home for two years. So the majority of the value of the home is wrapped up in a VA mortgage. Well, the VA mortgage is at 2.25%, <laughs> not seven. So a qualified veteran buyer can buy the home, just take over that 2.25% mortgage rate, and then either pay the other 20% in cash or take out another loan from a credit union, and we have referrals for that to make up the difference. And you are gonna be saving significant money on your monthly payment compared to if you're looking at a 7% interest rate. You might also be able to afford more house because of the opportunity to assume. So if you are a veteran buyer, I can help you identify homes where there is a VA loan on the home that you might consider assuming. Of course, we're gonna look at all the numbers and make sure it's smart for you. And I mean, if the house is not right for you, we're not gonna do it. But that's a fabulous opportunity that's out there for veterans right now. If you have any questions about the market, if you need to know what is happening, again, we study it every single week. I don't put it out an update like this every single week because after a while, people won't pay any attention to it. Uh, so only once in a while do I do this. But I just need you to understand, those of you who are watching the news, you are the most scared out there. 
the buyers who are watching the news and the sellers who are watching the news, they are the most scared because they are the most ill-informed on what is happening in our current market. So please do yourself a mental health favor and get your news, but that's about it. Don't stay glued to it. And when you want to know what's going on with real estate, talk to us. We are the local experts, not Fox News, not CNN, not somebody who's never even sold a house in the Fredericksburg area. Talk to us. We can put you at ease. And you know we're honest. We'll tell you, mm, you should wait. Or mm, you better do it now. This is your opportunity. You know that we have that ability and we're on your side. We want our clients to be happy. We want our clients to have a great experience. We want our clients to have an excellent, excellent memory of the process. And we've been through the recession of 2008 and we've been through COVID and we've been through the crazy that we just had for the last two years. And we've been through the nice six months, these last six months where everything kind of felt normal again. And now we're kind of changing things again, but we've been through it and we're on your side. So if you are someone you know needs help with real estate or just wants to know what's going on, just ask some questions, absolutely reach out. We love what we do and we want to spread the word. We want to be the sounding board. We want to be the ones that you count on for our local information. Lessons learned, the market is still good. It's slowing down a little bit. So if you're thinking about selling a home, you kind of need to start the process a little bit earlier. Buyers are able to get closing costs credit and there's opportunities to lower your interest rate and do other things with that. VA buyers have an amazing opportunity out there to get a very low interest rate on their purchase. And don't watch the news because it's gonna screw you up. If you need to know something crazy is going on in the world, I bet someone's gonna tell you. Uh, but we know what's going on here locally. So don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you guys have a great week. I will have an update on the third quarter uh, compared to the third quarter of 2019, which was the last normal year. I will do that report in a couple of weeks. I'll see you soon.